Number seven, if a compound is 82.4% nitrogen and 17.6% hydrogen, we're gonna find the empirical formula. After finding the empirical formula, we're gonna find the molecular formula knowing the molecular weight. So an empirical formula problem. The way I approach this, using these numbers, I pretend we have 100 grams total. If we have 100 grams total, that means we have 82.4 grams of nitrogen and 17.6 grams of hydrogen. What I want to find in my formula is what is the ratio of moles of one of them to moles of the other. So first, I need to get the moles of each element. 82.4 divided by 14, the molecular weight of nitrogen, will give me the moles of nitrogen. 82.4 divided by 14, 5.89 moles of N. 17.6 divided by the molecular weight of hydrogen, which is 1, gives me 17.6 moles of H. I now know in my formula there's going to be more hydrogen than there is nitrogen. Question is, how many times more? Our next step is the step we call divide by smallest, where I take the smallest number of moles and I divide each one of them by that. 5.89 divided by 5.89 is obviously 1. 17.6 divided by 5.89 gives me 2.99, which is basically 3. Using these numbers, I can get my empirical formula, which is NH3. One nitrogen, three hydrogens. For B, I want to figure out what I need to do to NH3 to turn it into something with a molecular weight of 85. I figure out what the molecular weight of this is of NH3. 14 plus 1 times 3, or 3 times 1, tells me NH3 has a molecular weight of 17. I want to figure out what do I need to multiply 17 by to get to 85. So I divide 17 into 85. 85 divided by 17 tells me I need to multiply by 5. Or to go from this to that, we're going to have to multiply everything by 5, giving me 5 nitrogens and 15 hydrogens.